What's going on with y'all YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today we got Stanley Animations getting the school's throat goat suspended. Sounds pretty self-explanatory to me. Apparently there's a throw baby at his school and he got her suspended. So we're going to see what he's talking about. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe, and comment something down below. You feel me? It's going to be linked down in the description. After this, you can go watch it on his channel. Support him. And without further ado, also don't forget my socials down there too. Y'all can follow me and send me videos to watch or react to. And boom, we on. <laughs> may not have been the most trap hood ghetto ghetto school in the country but some of the things that happen within those four walls and um her walls can never be said on social media but here i am on my youth <laughs> he did not have to throw her out there like that channel to pay the bills so let's get to the good stuff look i never promised to keep my school's dirty business under covers if shorty is gonna go around putting those acts on a display then i might as well put it on a canvas i am an animator but anyways something about doing the nasties in public places was a common thing around my school because just like the students my school didn't use much protection talking college or high school I mean, there's spots in high school you can get it cracking too, but I just feel like college would make more sense if he if he's if it's true like he's saying, it would make more sense for college. I don't know. And to stop us from doing whatever we wanted. Students did everything everywhere all at once. I'm talking about the bleachers, the forest, the staircase, anywhere, you name it. You can practically throw a pencil down the hallway and that thing would land between the two men. And because of how horror emotionally involved every student was with each other, it led my school to making some tough decisions that I could have easily been a part of. My school was pretty regular aside from the excessive amount of people wanting to sleep with each other. And because of that, I saw the most ridiculously raunchy behavior take place in one of the most obscene places in the entire school. That is my high school elevator. And this elevator for as... So this whole time he talking about a high school, what kind of nasty ass school y'all like? Well, they not, well, they just get freaky anywhere in the school, bro. Well, we used to have to find specific areas, classrooms, and cuts to do something if we wanted to. And y'all just in the in in the hallways and shit with it. As long as I knew was broken. I've been on the elevator one time to help a handicapped woman down because she physically couldn't go down the stairs and that was it. I don't know if it had cameras in it, but if it did, I'm pretty sure they were broken. The fake wood wallpaper was peeling off the wall. If it did, got roaches and shit on the old elevators. One right here, one right here. God damn me. I'm pretty sure they were broken. The fake wood wallpaper was peeling off the wall. It smelled like a public bathroom, and I've only ever seen someone else use it twice in my three years of high school. One of which, the elevator got stuck halfway up, and the kids in the elevator had to be rescued by fire marshals after they pried the door open. That's how dangerous and unusable this elevator was, but it was also perfect. Must have been a public school, because you know. No, they ain't putting no bread in them schools. Or arouse teenagers. I know it sounds stupid. It's hard for me to believe too because I can't imagine being so excited for a shorty that I would put my life in danger. Like that's crazy. But I quickly learned that people are disgusting. The elevator is in the one main hallway close to the cafeteria. But if there's no lunch going on and class is also going on, it is one of the most dead places in the whole building. And the only reason I was even there in the first place is because I just left the main office and I had to pass the area to get back to my class. And as I'm walking by, I hear someone drinking water. Wait, no, no, that's, that's not water. Okay, no, I hear someone cough. Wait, actually, uh, no, no, that's not cough. Maybe that's choking? So I'm like, oh shoot, someone is dying right now. Like I need to- Damn, so you wasn't even the one getting serviced. So you cock blocking the whole time. That's crazy. 
people help, but I'm thinking the person's not gonna survive long enough for me to get a teacher. So I find where the noise is coming from and it goes back to sounding like someone's drinking water. Like the noise is coming from the elevator, but the door is shut, kinda. But like I said, this elevator has been broken. So you can just slide it open with your hands. And when I tell you, all I see is a girl wipes her lips, looks me dead in my eyes. And to the left, I see this dude with his pants to his ankles. I was so disgusted and disappointed with shit. Me next looking at <laughs> these students bro i couldn't believe what i was seeing imagine sending your daughter or your son to school only for a teacher or a student to catch your son draws to his ankle and your daughter with meat on her face bury me now because that would destroy my soul but in the moment i didn't even know how to process the information that i was seeing and for some reason i just started busting out <laughs> laughing like ain't no way <laughs> Niggas is knocking down shorty throw in the handicapped unavailable elevator. And I'm laughing. Listen, listen. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Make do with what you got so loud that I kind of made a commotion and a teacher comes from the office sees me crying so much laughing so loud with so much tears in my eyes that it looked like I just finished sucking <clears throat> the teacher also sees the guy oh no nah, we ain't brushing past that funny you tweaking <laughs> you tweaking for that <laughs> no flag on the play flag on the play you over with for that no pause yeah, Bro, but the whole them. scene is already cleaned up so at first glance it just looked like three people in a hallway walking but here's the thing and this is where i kind of start to feel bad a little bit too because i think because of how loud i laughed it caused the teacher or staff member whoever she was to check the cameras and not the elevator cams but the hallway cams and i'm guessing she probably saw them walk in together and because of that i'm pretty sure i got Got them both suspended. But ain't that about the crazy man? You extra credit ass teachers, bro. She ain't even had to look at the camera. Just because you seen three people walking, you go, let me do the camera. Looking at anyway. Test story y'all ever heard? Shorty was literally gargling like it's mouthwash in a public handicap <laughs> elevator, bro. <laughs> Ah, all right, it's a wrap. <laughs> Fade to black. Oh. Hey, man, you gotta leave well enough alone, bro. Shut up. Anyways, man, that was getting the school throat goat suspended by Stanley Anna Masons, bro. Y'all know y'all was freaking in them in them hallways and them stairwells in the back of the school, in the track under the bleachers, in the bathrooms. If it was a if it was one that was unlock an empty classroom. Listen, so tell me y'all stories down in the comments, man. I wanna know, cause y'all 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 was getting freaky in school too. For me, I had strict parents, so y'all couldn't bring nobody to the crib. So y'all did what y'all had to do. Elsewhere. Anyways, man, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.